Can we talk to you? Can we talk to you? Not right now. Why? Did you do it? The man accused of setting dozens of golf carts on fire and causing a half million dollars in damage is out of jail but still facing charges. And tonight we're seeing newly released surveillance video of the suspect in the act. CBS 4's Joe Murray is in Miami with that story. In the video, it shows him entering the property, causing this fire. In the just released surveillance, you see a man in shorts and a tank top placing a box between what looks to be burning golf carts at the Mel Reese Country Club. You see him pull back and then run off. Miami police say the fire starter is 20 year old Carlos Crespo, who was arrested Wednesday and charged with arson and burglary. According to his arrest report, Crespo is seen lighting up a flammable device and placing it between the fleet of golf carts, causing the entire fleet to become engulfed in flames. We don't know what his motive is. We don't know if he's involved in other crimes in the area. We're still investigating that, and it's a puzzle that we're putting together. The aftermath of the bizarre crime was captured on cell phone. The inferno lighting up the Miami sky Tuesday night. Forty brand new golf carts were incinerated. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't have known what he was doing. It was golf course manager Charlie DeLuca who spotted the suspect in the property surveillance tape and called Miami police. If it wasn't for the fire department getting here when they did, hey, our clubhouse would have been burnt down. Less than a day after his arrest, Crespo posted bond and left jail, returning to his Miami home just blocks away from the golf course, where we tried to ask him about the charges. Can we talk to you? Can we talk to you? Not right now. Why? Did you do it? It doesn't appear the arson has anything to do with David Beckham's controversial proposal to turn the Melrose Country Club into a soccer stadium, a plan that's more painful than any fire for Charlie DeLuca. Whatever they want to do, I'll support them. But it just hurts me, hurts my feeling, hurts my family, hurts all our kids. But, uh, We'll work it out. We'll land somewhere else, I hope. In making the arrest, police say they were acting on an anonymous tip and were told that when they presented a picture of the suspect to that suspect's mother, she said, that's my son, and afterwards they arrested him. In Miami, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.